What's up everybody, Acrylic here, and this is another Acrylic Plays FTB. Um, not gonna lie, the animal glitch where babies can glitch through the fence, very annoying. Very difficult to, you know, get these guys uh, farming properly. Um, yeah, anyways. One other thing, it's pretty warm here today, so if you can hear my CPU fan, that's because it's going super fast on my video card to keep everything nice and cool. Fantastic, right? Gotta love it. Um, the other thing that I did is uh, I was live streaming a little bit, uh, what was it, yesterday, I believe, which would have been Friday, which, yeah. Anyways, um, and I went around and I gathered up some bees and stuff like that, so I'm kind of just you know, messing around with them a little bit here. I got some trees, you know, so I can kind of get some potential mutations, but I'm not doing anything too serious with it. I'm just kind of breeding them up, getting some more uh, honey, some more, you know, stuff like that. Just, just getting started on it. I made the apiary actually over at Median Germans. They had a, uh, carpenter and I brought over my seeds and threw in the seed oil and all that kind of stuff so um, made up the apiary the first apiary here and yeah so I'm just kind of breeding and you know getting some of their pro production right like the honeycombs for example and I got a few others but I don't have enough for another apiary so I gotta I gotta get that first okay but on to what we're doing today, machines, machines, machines. Now I've been thinking about this a little bit. Because I have this heat grinding pickaxe, how many pulverizers and powered furnaces do I truly need? And that's a tough debate because I'm not always gonna be self-mining. So I'm still gonna be making the same amount as what you would normally right basically because if I'm gonna run a quarry or a mining well system or some sort of mining system down the road I'm gonna need the machines for it now it might be a little overkill to start but you know it takes the same amount of time to make one as it does to make three so that's my theory also I was doing some caving on stream there now any of the stream footage you can go on to twitch you can go into my username I'm going to save the videos there so you can view the video of me streaming. It's it's long. It's like three hours long, right? But I'm going to save it so that you guys can go see it. But I'm not going to upload that to YouTube. Mainly because a lot of it was just derping around, talking with the people in the stream, running around finding bees, stuff like that. Okay. But one thing I did find, which was really cool, is an essence orb or, or berry bush tastes like creeper now it did have ores on it and I mined them and on stream I gave it a try and they give you experience now as far as I know I think they'll grow like this so we'll find out we will find out indeed but yeah free experience bushes sounds good to me we'll try to get those bad boys growing something fierce so, first things first, I'm going to get a whole bunch of materials. Like that. And I need some glass. And I'm going to need a lot of redstone. I will take him for right now. Going to need a decent amount of wood. Ooh, that might be a problem. Uh, I have hop seed wood. That should work. Oh, I also found some rubber trees on the stream as well. And did I plant one of them? Yeah, right here. I think. Yeah, rubber tree. I don't know that it actually has any rubber though. <laughs> but it's my only sapling, so I gotta, I gotta get like a grafter and make sure I get a few more saplings out of that bad boy. So, okay. So uh, let's start simple. Kind of what I made last time, right? Gonna need some pistons, some flint, some redstone, some, and a whole bunch of these machine frames. Now, all of the, um, whatchamacallit, you know, the whatchamacallits, <laughs> all of the thermal expansion 
machines take machine frames for the most part. So definitely going to be making a few of those. And I am planning to make nine. So let's make nine of them. Eight and nine. Perfect. We'll just do this nice and quickly. Nine machine frames. Pretty straightforward. Yes, I know I can shift click. I just forgot to do it. Okay. So don't, don't be hating. Uh, I need the wood. There we go. Piston. Why you no work? Oh, it probably doesn't recognize the hop seed planks. That's okay. And oh no, I know why. I don't have any cobble. Where's my cobble? There we go. Now it should work. Okay, I'm going to make. I'm going to make nine. I don't know that I actually need nine, but worth. I might as well make them. They're they're pistons. I'll use them at some point in time. Um, I need at least three of you. Oh dear, stay away. Three. Really? You wanna fight? I can't kill him at all. Yeah, see, can't get him. Okay. But I scared him. I know I did. You're scared. You're scared. Scared. Um, so I got some of them. That's perfect. I need my flint. One, two, three, four, five, six of you. I got the six copper. I should be able to make my three pulverizers. Oh, I didn't need to make three. I have one right there, derp. Oh well. And the other thing that we need is a powered furnace. Again, the pretty straightforward stuff here, folks. Ooh, bricks. That's right. I remember that. Curse you, bricks. Curse you. Alright. How many do I need? I need four, eight, twelve. I think I need how many? There we go. And I'm going to get that cooking up. And I'll be right back when it's done. And it'll be daytime again and all that fun stuff. So. Alrighty, so I got some of the materials here. Let's see, there we go. And we are making the powered furnace for three. Excellent. Now, as you can see, I made a few extra reception coils and got a few more materials here. And we're going to make some of the other parts. So, one of them is an induction smelter. Very useful tool. And again, just the shift click. Another one is the liquid transposer thank you very much and the third and final is the magma crucible and thank you all right so we made some stuff didn't we we got some stuff here folks <laughs> and apparently i did make too many pistons but that's okay not a problem not a problem whatsoever. And I'm just going to throw that in there for right now. Okay. So, let's go place these on our line. And again, pretty pretty standard setup here. Um, let's start with the Magma Crucible. And this guy here, you can see there's quite a few different recipes for making lava. But the main reason that I got it is not for the lava or the water it's for the destabilized redstone the energized glowstone and the resonant ender okay uh, I'm just gonna disable a couple of these things in the configuration to set it up how I want and it uses a ton of power if you have it it'll pretty much use it right beside the magma crucible I'm gonna launch up my liquid transposer and this guy, uh, it'll take in liquids, right here, for example, and that's coming from the left side where my magma crucible is. And I don't need these at all. Okay, I don't want to send it anywhere. No big deal. So the, whatever I, I put in the magma crucible, 
is going to automatically go into this liquid transposer. And this magma crucible is effectively going to only be for the redstone and the end and the end and glowstone type stuff, okay? Um, if you wanted to make lava or water, I highly recommend getting another one. Alright. You guys already finished? Oh, busy little bees. Excellent. Didn't make anything. Good job. <laughs> Alright, and then the liquid goes into the liquid transposer, and you can put that liquid into things. That is a requirement. Um, beside that, I am going to throw down the induction smelter. And I'm going to disable pretty much all the inputs. And outputs, for that matter. Just going to be a blank machine at the moment. And I'm going to be using this thing for... Well, mainly, the main thing I'm using it for is... Something called... Hardened Glass. Which is some pulverized obsidian with some lead. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, very much a requirement. <laughs> it's in a lot of major recipes. Okay. And for now, let's see, how do I want to do this? Because of these gold pipes are just terrible. Um, for this, before I get more stuff. I need these three. So I'm going to hold off placing these guys for right now. And I'm going to use this pulverizer over here, which is full of energy. And we are going to pulverize some obsidian. Like so. So that will pulverize it up. And I need... That should give me 12, I think. So I just need 6 lead. It's not very many, I can tell you that much. It definitely uses a lot a lot a lot of obsidian so we might have to tweak that a little bit so I'm firing up the magmas here so that we get some MJ going and they're gonna fire up about four four megajoules per tick nothing too crazy but you'll see these guys starting to fill up a little bit the magma because it's first the reason these pipes aren't that great is they don't evenly distribute it's going here first before I'll go to these other ones. And actually this little problem that I have here might be a problem. So, And my dog might bark. Better not. He's sleeping and a car horn went off. and He's freaking out. <laughs> I'll just kick back on that. And you can see that force engine just working. I need to find a system to get those working for me. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the induction smelter here. And actually, you know what? I might AFK a little bit. And let these things power up. And then, then I'll throw it in. Because I need some of that hardened glass and I need it quick. Because one of the things that I do want to get right away is redstone energy conduits. That's right. But you need the empty one first. Oh, we could make some Electrum, I guess. Let's see, how do we do that? Smelting it. That's great. Ah, also in the induction smelter. That's some gold and some silver. Seems to be pretty good. That seems to be a good method. Oh, and I can get it from the liquid casting table, apparently. Well, that doesn't seem too, too bad at all. Okay, so there's definitely blood. How do you get blood? <laughs> okay, so there's definitely different ways that I can get some Electrum. That's good to know. And that one way in the smeltery, I'll have to see if that's better or not. But we're getting some stuff here, getting some MJ in, and yeah, I'll just wait it out. Alright, so let's throw in the lead and the obsidian here. I probably actually only needed three. I did. Dirt ain't easy, alright folks. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some gold and silver as well. 
and probably do six and six like so Ooh, I guess I could throw that lead back in can't I there we go I can do no math there we go so we got some of that hardened glass which is great and now I'm cooking up some electrum and apparently they fixed these a little bit because at one point in time they used to start to like overload and it's bad news so that should give me 12 excellent maybe I can do math somewhat decently <laughs> alright so that'll get me those energy conduits empty now you can't do anything with these things so Let's see, redstone energy conduit. Need the liquid transposer and some of that destabilized redstone. So let's throw it in the liquid transposer here. And I don't have any yet, so let's go get some redstone. Now I wonder, can it do blocks? I wonder. Let's take a look. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, maybe it will. No, I need to see the other way. That's okay. I wonder. Let's try. Okay. So what you do is you throw... Oh, look at that. It does do it. Excellent. So you see the magma crucible? It used up the block of redstone. And we'll see how much it gets us. Oh, a thousand? Was it? Quite a bit. Oh, wow. Those... They changed those. Those use a lot more redstone now. Those use 200 per. It used to be like 25 or something. Oh well. So, yeah, so the magma crucible melts down the redstone. And I guess I'll throw it some more. Because we're going to need a lot of it. And it just uses power to melt it down. And it automatically fires it over here. And I believe it gives me 1,000? 900. 900 is what it gives, that makes sense. And voila, you get the redstone energy conduit. Very nice, very nice block. That's crazy that a block of redstone, two blocks of redstone, get you, what is it, like nine of them? That's pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. But they're so handy. Alright, so we've pretty much done what we need to do okay so I'm gonna first wait till these lines let's see I'm gonna start breaking them because I don't want them anymore it's my choice I get to do what I want <laughs> and I'm gonna switch this to these redstone energy conduits like so see how much nicer those are so, one thing you need to know about the redstone energy conduits is the blue is an output of power. So what it means is that's where the conduit allows power to go through. You can kind of see like a little arrow there. It means it can flow that way. Now, when you get into this situation where you're pumping power from an engine, look at which way is the power going. Which way? Into the engine. Power is not allowed this way. So you need to just give that pipe a little click and you'll see the little arrow changes and the little orange part changes and now it allows power to come from the engines into the conduits. And you'll see the one advantage to this, they're all filling up at an equivalent rate. Funny how that works, eh? <laughs> Let's uh, renew Mr. Old Princess over here. Get out the honeycomb. Thank you. Production sucks. I'm not going to lie. But it's fine. Like I said, just getting started. So that is a great start. That is a fantastic start. I like that. Now, I'm going to get four more redstone. Just because I don't like having these guys here. And I'm pretty sure that should give us the right amount. Oh, well, what do they give you? 
Anyways, I'll have to look that up. Um, the other thing that I really, really, really want to make is the redstone energy cell. And I'd like to make that today. So we need an energy cell empty. So that's four hardened glass, a diamond, and some electrum. So I need some more obsidian. And I'm kind of running low on obsidian here. So I'm thinking that there's got to be another way to get more. Well, I'm right, there is. Now, I'm not sure, I think this still works. No, no. What is it? It probably doesn't recognize the eucalyptus wood. Let's try it with the spruce. With equivalent exchange and the minium stone, you can get obsidian, just like that. Okay, now, that's not the end game at all. Um, what I think I should do, let me see here. Man, look at that power just jump. And it's working. And look at that power jump. These machines, I gotta find a way to get these things automated. They are really nice. Very nice machine. And I don't think they can explode either, so that's also a bonus. Okay, so one of the other ways that you can get obsidian is... Oh dear, what's it called? What's it called? I forgot. Uh, igneous Extruder. That's the one. And it requires a little bit of different stuff. Some tin, this pneumatic servo. So let's get... Uh, about that much. Let's get some more redstone. I think it was three. Yeah, that should do us. I need at least one gold, if not... Yeah, just the one gold, I think. And I need a couple pieces of tin. I have tin. That'll work nicely. And I think that should be basically her, because I have some pistons right here. So again, first thing first, kind of repeating myself here, but make that machine frame. Let's make that pneumatic servo. I think, yeah, let's make two of them. All right. I'm gonna get another machine frame too. Might as well. For this guy like so and I'm gonna need a little bit more iron because I believe I need a bucket at least so let's make that oops I forgot to hold shift all right so, the Igneous Extruder is a very cool machine, and we're going to go over that right away here. But I also need one of these, an Aqueous Accumulator. And I forgot the tin, didn't I? I did. So, we're going to make that guy as well. Very nice setup, very straightforward, and very useful. Let's just sleep away the night here don't need any creepers coming up and messing with my stuff there we go any creepers be creeping about nope 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 okay now this guy is pretty cool because he actually the igneous extruder he doesn't require any power alright one thing that he does require though is lava so if I just dig down like so and I take this aqueous accumulator first. That's the one we're going to deal with first here. And I get another bucket of water. Thank you. And we throw one bucket of water there. One bucket of water there. That makes us an infinite spring of water. Excellent. Can refill the buckets. And I'm going to put the aqueous accumulator right in between them. Right where that infinite spot is. Just like so. And you'll see in the interface, it's filling up with water. Excellent. And it has outputs. OK, 
Okay, yeah, you can pretty much leave them all active. Not a big deal. But the Igneous Extruder here, this is where it gets cool. You put him here, and he should be getting lava. And he should also get water here as soon as the lava fills up. Nope. Oh, ah, yes, there we go. Had to change the output. Okay, and it's automatically making cobblestone. Wait a minute, I don't want it to be working at the moment. Now, cobblestone gives you a free transmute. Um, I don't think I have any levers. These are ugly sticks, by the way. Not a fan. Uh, but you can just throw a quick little lever on there, and it should stop. So, cobblestone, if you have lava and water in there, it won't use up any of the resources, but it's basically a cobblestone generator. So, as long as you have lava, as long as you have water, you're good to go. Um, smooth stone will use a little bit of each, as my phone goes off. I tell you, good thing I had it on vibrate. And obsidian will use a bucket of each. So, now I want to make obsidian at the moment because I have lava coming in from the pump. And I can actually, these are all full, so let's just turn off these guys for right now. No need to waste energy. And they're pretty much full. Okay. And this guy doesn't require any, so let's turn this guy on and make some obsidian. And you'll see there, it took basically a bucket of each. And it takes a little bit longer to make the obsidian, but I'm making obsidian. That's the main point. Uh, while we're waiting for that to go, I am going to make myself a nice little wall like that. And there's a reason I disabled all the tops of all these machines. It was on purpose. So, first things first, we are going to have the pulverizers up top and the powered furnaces in the middle. Nice little wall of machines. And we can turn that back on and let it get some more power. Because they're not full. Not full at all. Okay, um, for all these pulverizers, I'm going to set their down output to orange so something comes in the top right there when it's done pulverizing it's gonna go down into the powered furnace and the powered furnace at the moment I'm gonna have no output just for the moment and I'm gonna do this for each of the machines while I wait for some more obsidian and power to hit these guys that's full they're getting there they're almost done so Let's do that. Blue, orange, and nothing. Blue, nothing, orange, nothing. And this one, like so. Click, 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 boom. Oh, no. I need that. I do it there? Okay, got it right. Okay, so these guys should start storing energy shortly, I think. We should be pretty much all full. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll turn that off for right now. All the engines are pretty much, or machines, I should say, are full of energy and ready to go. Uh, this guy's got quite a bit of obsidian, which is fantastic. Now I'm just going to run over here for the time being because I already did some up over here and kick that thing on and we're going to use that for now for the obsidian and I'm going to get a decent amount of lead I think that's right I'm not sure so I'm going to oh they are growing look at that they're growing excellent and look this guy's got some okay so watch the experience this is a concentrated essence berry Watch the experience. Look at that. Not bad, eh? If these things spread and grow off each other, mm-hmm. 
Gonna be in nice business. If they grow up like this, we might have experience for days. Uh, now, to make these things grow, I, sh I guess I should explain that. Hey? What you need to do is you can trim the tops and just place them down like so. And then usually they should grow to three high and be nice, beautiful bushes. I'm hoping that is the case for these guys as well. That would be a fantastic find. Alrighty, so we're still sapping up a lot of the lava that our pump's pumping. But if I get a stack of obsidian, I'm going to feel pretty confident. What are you? Unnamed. Alright. Unnamed. I love those flowers. They're my favorite, the unnamed flower. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have a working system that I can use to pulverate, pulverize things, cook things. Cooking's a big one. Because that means I can get rid of these guys. Like so. Oops. Like so. Save up on some coal. And we can get this thing going up to another level here soon enough. We're getting really close to the point where we're starting to get a pretty good system. And from here, we can we can start looking maybe a little, a little up into the sky. I'm feeling kind of more confident about that. I need to get a few other things, and one of them is this redstone energy cell. So we'll probably get that next episode. And there might be a few other things from thermal expansion that I'm interested in looking at. Maybe some energized glowstone. Or glowstone illuminators. But that'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, guys and girls. And have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.